Yeah, so my name is uh, Dr. Majid Ali Khan, and uh, I'm uh, working at Prince Mohammed bin Fahad University for the last eight years in the College of uh, Computer Engineering and Science. I've been working on machine learning kind of problems, uh, like machine learning being applied in different domains. So I have applied machine learning in software engineering data. I have applied machine learning in uh, algebraic structures, math structures, and now more recently towards document analysis. So this work uh, that we published at POJ, this work uh, was about uh, writer verification of Arabic documents, handwritten documents. So this is what we worked on. It's a kind of challenging work because to identify the writer based on the handwriting is a um, kind of challenging task is uh, because they are, which we have to look for very specific features. So what we uh, tried to address the problem in this particular research was that the writer verification are based on partially damaged handwritten documents. So in that case, if the documents are partially damaged, which means you cannot recover the entire document, but you can recover part of it, then how we can use this to uh, identify the writer or to verify the writer of uh, this handwriting. So this was the uh, way that our problem, our research work was different from the others. Uh, and what we did, our approach was that we tried to identify character shapes so uh, this was that we extracted character shapes from the handwritten text and then use those character shapes to verify the uh, authorship of the document. And uh, since uh, we were doing it based on the character shapes, which can be very similar across multiple writers versus if you are doing it based on the complete uh, sentences or complete text or complete word, it's more easier problem because there are many variations in the way people write. But when you're doing it based on just the character shapes, then it becomes more challenging because multiple people will write the same character the same way. So you have to look for more uh, specific features. So what we did in this work is that we tried to work on the character shapes. And then we found out that some character shapes are uh, more suitable for this kind of work. Some character shapes are not suitable. So we tried to find out which character shapes are better to identify or to verify the writers. This was the crux of our work. Uh, I think uh, anyone who is uh, working on the uh, writer verification, writer identification, uh, and people who are working on the document analysis, uh, on also like on other related problems like signature detection, signature verification, they can also learn from this. So basically, I think there has been very little work in partially damaged or damaged documents. So most of the work that is there is based on assuming that the whole document is available. So this can be this can impact into multiple domains. Yes. Uh, also collected a data set, and the data set has been publicly shared. So it is available publicly. If anybody who wants to work in this in, in this domain, they can uh, get this data set from the website. Uh, this is called a hop a h a w p data set, and this this consists of uh, Arabic handwritten alphabets, words, and paragraphs by users. And this is unique because the other data sets which are available, they are either, uh, if they have alphabets, they don't, they don't contain the user information. Or if they contain paragraph, they don't contain alphabets. So this is the unique data set which contains uh, alphabets uh, and uh, words and paragraphs written by the same user per user. So this is also, we shared it with the community. 